Families across the U.S. are adjusting their daily routines because of the growing public health crisis that is the coronavirus. Kids are home from schools, some parents are working from home, others are working longer than ever hours in those essential fields. And that means hanging in limbo as we wait to see what the future holds and how our lives will change. All the uncertainty is a prime breeding ground for stress. Many parents are wondering how to protect their kids and maintain a sense of normalcy. Joining us now is Dr. Jeanette Yoff, clinical director of Yoff Therapy. First of all, I just see you right there, doctor, and your room looks like the opposite of stress. So thank you for presenting such a, a wonderful image right there. Uh, you yeah. work with children and, and uh, you work through stress. So just first and foremost, for parents at home, we know when our children generally are showing the external signs of stress, but are there any other sorts of indicators sometimes that aren't as obvious that your child might be going through something that needs some attention? Well, children who shut down and don't share their feelings and they're not able to communicate, the kids that are quiet are those are the ones that are actively thinking more and stressed out more because they're just not able to articulate and say exactly what they're feeling inside. So we want to give them tools so they can learn how to name it, to tame it, use those I statements, acknowledge what they're feeling. And we actually, as parents, I'm a parent myself, we do need to teach and show our children how to do this, not only through tools, but through modeling. So important. All that is really um, important. And when you, you talk yeah, about tools. I mean, I'm taking a look in your room as we were just talking about. We're seeing Play-Doh, we're seeing bubbles, um, lots of cool little devices there. So let's talk about, I think, the thing that you're probably best known for, which are these anger management bags. Uh, walk us into the idea behind them and how people can understand how to use them in their own home place. Yes, yeah, so I developed these tools and their bags. There's two bags that I'm going to show you today, the stress bag and the anger bag, because what a bag serves is it's going to have all these coping skills in there for either stress or anger, and it provides a container psychologically and emotionally for children. Children need a place to put things, especially their emotions, their thoughts, their feelings. They need to project, externalize, and transform it into something new. So they do need tools. So all you need is a bag. And I'm going to show you a few items here that you most likely have at your home that you can use with your child right now. And you may say, I don't know if I want to do this. I want to say, do it. Because just having the bag, I have seen kids, when they know they have a place to put their anger or stress, it gives them just that sense of relief that now I have a place for all these big feelings. So that's why we do want to provide this. So let me show you the items. So you can see how this works. Okay, so in good. both bags, yes. Oh, no, that sounds good. Any questions so no, far? Like, look, yeah, okay. so far so good. So in both bags, there's paper. So anyone can grab some paper. You can put a clip. So we teach children that we are, we can have phrases. We can name it with I statements. I'm feeling really stressed that I can't see my friends right now, which is really hard for a lot of kids. A lot of kids are frustrated. I'm really angry that I can't see my friends. Name it to tame it. Draw a picture of what you're angry at. So paper, crayons, markers. Then we have Play-Doh. So Play-Doh is a natural stress reliever and, and an anger reliever. So children need to externalize through their hands. So providing something for them to focus distract themselves from what they're feeling and put it into something else outside of themselves is really important. I also have cards that are stress busters or anger busters. And as you can see, I'm making this fun. So I'm modeling for them how to do this. So, in, uh, so on the back of the buster cards are things that you can do with your stress. So stretch my body like a cat, stretching actually helps to relieve stress in the body. So you have written on the back of that card endorphins. the activity that yes. should be done. And uh, so where, do you, where, where would one get the ideas for what to put on the back side of that card? Stretch like a cat sounds like a fun one, but otherwise. Yes. So I have a list on my website, yofftherapy.com. Both of these bags are there as well as a sad bag. And let me just say one thing about anger. Anger is a secondary emotion. It's protecting us from feeling all these other feelings, which is anxiety, which is a lot of what we're experiencing right now. And for children, having to contain that anxiety all, for them, all by themselves is 
very, very difficult. It's a lot for them to handle, for sure. You know, it is a lot. Doctor, yeah. we just and have... even parents say they want this bag for themselves as well. Doctor, we just have a minute so left. So before, before we go, yeah. I'm going to send people to your website, uh, which is yawtherapy.com, uh, in order to learn more about these bags. But just real quick, since people have been following along to date, we have about 30 seconds left. When you actually yes. create these items, just walk us through the practical part of putting them in the bag and how that looks. Yes. So you put them in the bag, and one by one, I would choose three items per child. You put it in the bag, you put it, you write on the outside of the bag, things to do when I feel angry to help me calm the pain inside me. And then it goes somewhere in their room or in the kitchen, a place visible. So they can see it and be reminded that there is a place that is holding my anger right now. There is a place that's holding my stress. And you can do this every day, a little bit at a time. Even though we're not angry at the time, it still provides this teaching tool for right. children. Right, and that becomes a place the where we can world. externalize our feelings. It's, it's an excellent yes. advice. And at yawtherapy.com, people can learn more about those bags. Thank you so much for taking some time giving us yes. an interesting way of approaching our child's stress, which we're all feeling right now. Thank you so much, Doctor. I wish you all well. Thank you, and you, and you as well. Our COVID-19...